Hello Sagittarius, welcome to your monthly reading. So as you can see my setup is a little bit different but we're just going to get started with your October reading. So we're going to be looking into your love sector, career and just overall general energy. And today we're going to be doing a uh, just a general read just to see what's kind of going on for you in the month of October, okay? So I'm going to be working with my numerology guidance cards. These are my new cards. I'm so excited. I also have a cough. <clears throat> so if I keep coughing through this video, I do apologise. But I'm doing my best. <laughs> so let's get started with your October reading. So first of all, we're going to have a look into the general energy. And we're going to have a look into um, what does Sag need to know in terms of just general energy, please. Thank you. Okay, all the cards are sticking together. <laughs> we have happy ending. Isn't that amazing? That's so good. I'm so happy for you guys. I don't know if you can see because my brightness is so high. I'm sorry guys. But this is going to be what your uh, general energy is for the month of October. This is looking really, really good. Like the fact we've got happy ending is like perfect, okay? So I'm going to read from the book from you as well, just to see kind of what are the messages that are for you. Uh, I feel like I'm just like promoting this card deck. <laughs> I'm not, okay? But I do love it. So there's a card underneath, which is Spiritual Partnership, number 27. So this is going to be what's possibly going to come after this happy ending, or what is going to be your happy ending. So if you are single and you're looking for love, then there's definitely going to be a spiritual partnership coming in for you. This could also mean there's going to be a friendship coming for you. So basically that's kind of what is going to be conjuring up. So in terms of this happy ending, it says it's 93, which is 9 plus 3 is 2. So basically, I feel like... Hmm... Yeah. Yeah, 9 plus 3 is 12, so yeah which would be three, yeah, so yeah, three, yeah, well, that is right. So I do think three is to do with creativity, that's basically the number that's gonna come towards you, uh, telling you that your guides are with you, and when this happy ending is occurring, that's when that number's really gonna be prominent. So look out for freeze, repeating, and things like that, okay? So also I forgot to mention that you can watch this video for your um, sun and moon sign. Um, I don't really think it's for your Venus sign, really. I mean, maybe it could be, but just take it as it resonates, okay? So, um let's see what this happy ending is all about number 93 <clears throat> so let's see what it says this card serves as confirmation that a very happy ending is right around the corner even if it seems ludicrous and impossible at this present moment in time a favorable outcome awaits you and is well within your reach since you attract what you are you bring yourself good fortune when you're happy therefore you will attract your positive outcome sooner by being joyous now, that is by acting as if what you want has already come to pass. By drawing this card, you are being encouraged to focus the majority of your attention on the outcome you desire, rather than the outcome you fear. Since you attract what you think about the most, when you focus on your dreams, you can make those dreams come true. Dismiss any logic and reason so that you can see the miracles beyond and know that you live in a magical universe where it pays to believe and dream. In order to improve your current situation, you're being asked to and adjust to and harmonise with the natural rhythm and cycles of your life. Cycles that are leading you towards a very happy ending. Be grateful for the happiness to come and remain positive and hopeful at all times, because it only gets better from here. You are mere moments away from the outcome you deserve. And the affirmation for you this month is, I have faith that a happy ending is right around the corner. <laughs> That's amazing. That's so good. Oh my god, I'm really jealous. <laughs> Okay, so that is your overall energy, which is absolutely perfect. And I love the fact that we have the purple in the middle and then we have purple like around the edge. So I basically feel like these two are really, really interconnected, okay? So that's great. Right, let's have a look in terms of love life. That could this is basically gonna intertwine into one, so that could also be love life as well. So let's have a look and see what else is coming for Sag. Goddess. Honor your divine feminine energy, see your inner beauty, love every part of you. Okay, so that is what's coming through for your love life. So that's basically what you want to kind of focus on right now, is to look into your goddess energy and kind of focus on um, your feminine energy, what kind of lights you up, what makes you happy. 
and to love every part of you and to know that the things that possibly aren't going your way or things you don't like about yourself will kind of come into more it become more obvious as to what those things are and I feel like you're really gonna see you really need to kind of focus on your inner beauty what are the good parts you love about yourself and how are you going to integrate that into the month of October okay so that can be um taking time out for yourself and I'm seeing some of you have children so I feel like a lot of you it'll be good if you do have children or if you don't just kind of take time away from those from the children and have like some time away for yourself if you can do that um, I'm seeing a lot of you are going to are new mothers as well so make sure you are kind of focusing on yourself and also I feel like you guys will need adventure we have adventure underneath the uh, deck so it's really really good for you guys to um, do things differently manifest your travel dreams and possibly if you want to move to a new location that's very sad that card all about kind of adventure and um, kind of travel that sort of thing so I feel like you guys could be traveling this month or possibly just planning or thinking about travel okay it could be somewhere that's very um, it's very kind of hot like a hot place sorry my words my words are taking a while to come out this energy state is so irritating <laughs> it's so annoying but i'm doing my best so let's have a look and see what's coming in for you in terms of love specifically so as i say all these cards kind of blend into one so um hopefully this is all making sense so in terms of love while that flipped out here we go adventure three of wands beautiful so that's basically you kind of looking out uh, this is for singles and if you are in a relationship, but I mainly kind of uh, read for singles um, as obviously a lot more people kind of want that guidance. But if this obviously just take it as it resonates, guys. So we have the five of cups. So that's going to be really, really important for you to stop looking at the bad things about your love life and kind of focus on what do I want? Like really focus on what is kind of going to draw you in to that energy and basically there's a lot of travel i feel like you may not have enough money for travel or you may be kind of looking into your love life and thinking that you don't have enough um i'm lacking king of pentacles so you could have an earth sign coming towards you this is also you just feeling grounded like first get grounded then figure out what you want to do next i feel like for a lot of you you're quite scatterbrained which i can totally resonate with so i feel like a lot of you need to focus on actually getting the foundations right first before you can kind of go forward so basically what that's telling me is we've got the world card in reverse as well there's definitely a lot of travel for you guys which is so Sagittarius um so for a lot of you guys in terms of love there is an element that you want to kind of move forward for a lot of you who are single um you want to kind of move towards a new start and I think a lot of you are manifesting your travel dreams instead of love so instead so basically not like e either or it's basically like you're focusing on love but you want to travel so basically you're thinking okay so love hasn't come in yet let's focus on travel right um does this so resonate with me i'm not even i'm not even a fire sign i'm a scorpio <laughs> and we've got love partnership underneath spiritual partnership so it's definitely going to be a partnership coming in for you in the month of october and uh october november october november december as well so possibly by the end of this year you will be in a partnership if you are single for those of you who are in relationships i see that you kind of want to do a bit more adventure you want to kind of spice things up a little bit you want to make things a little bit more interesting i'm getting intrusive so i feel like somebody who who's I feel like your partner possibly could be a little bit intrusive they could be a little bit kind of like either not caring or overbearing <laughs> sometimes my guys like to rhyme and it's like are we channeling Eminem I don't know <laughs> obviously Eminem's still on the earth plane but I'm like are we channeling Eminem like what <laughs> so obviously if you guys don't know who Eminem is a rapper I'm just like I don't know why my guys do that sometimes but so yeah I definitely feel like you guys are really kind of focusing on what am I going towards and there's a sentiment of this so I feel like your partner could either be with or against you for some of you you want to travel you want to do things you just want to do more things and sometimes your partner doesn't really match up with that so you may be kind of figuring out okay do I want to travel on my own or anything like that for some of you I do see you guys traveling together which is really really good possibly um having a relationship but they're like having a relationship in a different country so there's lots, so many options here guys i'm sorry because this, this is a general reading it's quite gets quite confusing so one option is that in partnership your partner could be a little bit 
kind of distant, could be looking out the opposite way and wanting to go different paths. There could be a breakup, but I do sense that this is already kind of in the work. So you possibly will be, you're thinking about it anyway. This isn't like, oh my God, you're suddenly gonna break up. Like, I'm not seeing that. Unless, I, unless the towel is here, I would be kind of like debating it. So there could be that. It could also be traveling together, but wanting to go to possible different countries. So you're gonna have to like settle on that. Um, and also I'm seeing that you're gonna travel to somebody who is in a different country. This could be a, obviously this is people who are partnered. Um, and also people who are single, you could be uh, meeting somebody in a different country and having to travel towards them. You may be a little bit upset because you may not have enough money to kind of do that. Um, but I do sense that it's going to change for you, okay? <clears throat> because we had the Knight of Pentacles with the Seven of Pentacles, it's basically like you're working on your monies and you're kind of figuring out, okay, what's the best way to kind of invest in this situation? And you're both investing in a partnership if you partnered, you're both investing in this and trying to figure out the best way to kind of move forward in terms of travel. So I feel like a lot of you do want to travel, do want new things, you want to spice it up. I'm getting like spices, like I'm getting like cinnamon and things. So I feel like you're possibly going to do this around Christmas time because cinnamon is always about Christmas time, I feel like. And nutmeg. Um, could even be cooking with nutmeg and cinnamon. Then I'll just get random messages, guys. Um, so I don't know what else there is in terms of love that like I'm feeling like so intensely but there's a like an old cycle that's kind of going round and round so if you are in a partnership that you're not happy with this could come to its ugly head and it could rear itself and you could start to figure out actually do I want to be with this person or not because I feel like we maybe want different things okay but maybe you don't you know well just as it, res take it, as it resonates guys okay um I do see you kind of traveling to somewhere new um, or just kind of getting out more or going to like new restaurants, trying different food, possibly like, like I'm seeing foreign food. So it's not the food of the country that you're in, um, like possibly just trying new food. Um, there is definitely an earth sign coming in for you guys who are single. It doesn't have to be an earth sign, but that is a possibility. Okay. Um, this person also has a lot of dollar for you guys who are single. Okay. And they are very invested in you and their money which is a good combination we like a good we like a good person who is <laughs> into into their money and their relationship we like a good balance i see this person is very balanced um yeah i see this person is quite young so they could be younger than you or you could just be quite you could be a young person you could be like 20s 30s i'm seeing obviously if you are over that doesn't matter if you are probably over about 40 i see you being with someone a little bit younger than you um or just somebody with a younger spirit okay so that's what i'm seeing for love in terms of october let's have a look at career and see what's kind of going on there we have the three of cups We have the Hermit, we have the Two of Cups, the King of Wands, wow, Four of Wands, gorgeous. You'd think this was for love, but it's for career, so for a lot of you, you're finding something that really suits you, which is stunning, I love that. Some of you are just a little bit confused. You may be kind of having a little bit of trouble with your co-workers. Um, like you're kind of like disagreements. Like it's, it's causing you to have the hermit mode and kind of get into your own space. Page of Pentacles. So I do sense that for some of you, for some of you, okay, right, the fall. So there is a new opportunity for you guys who want that new opportunity so that's good that's underneath the deck so that's coming forward towards you very soon so with and also we've got the queen of wands underneath so that's basically saying that you're ready for this new start and you want it <laughs> you really really want it so with this three of cups and the hermit i sense that you guys as i said are possibly having a little bit of trouble with co-workers or just like struggling with kind of dealing just with people in general i can totally relate to this this libra energy is so intense so i wouldn't be surprised if you guys are dealing with people and having troubles with them um because libra is all about dealing with relationships and things like that so i do sense that that's kind of rearing its head and 
Um, a lot of things are rearing its head this month for you guys, which I think is kind of good because it means that you're going to be realising kind of what's going on. And with the, you know, with the Hermit and Three of Cups, there's definitely an element of I want to retreat. So maybe there's somebody who you're kind of avoiding right now, which, you know, why not? Um, <laughs> I thought you guys are avoiding this person, but or a group of people. Or it could be somebody who's like disagreeing with you and you don't know how to handle it. Um, or you're just not too sure on what's going on, you know? And you just kind of want to have your own space. So we have the Two of Cups, so I do see something being resolved. You could also meet somebody through work, which is really, really good. We have the King of Wands here, so we have a fire sign. So we have fire and earth for you guys, so it could be another fire sign for you guys. Um, with the Four of Wands, you're looking towards like this really stable, and this is going to be really, really good for you, because we also had the Page of Pentacles afterwards. There's a new start in work that could be coming for you if you want it. You have to grab it, you have to earn it. So for a lot of you who have been earning, um, who've really kind of been putting in the effort in terms of career, I feel like you guys are really going to go for it. If this offer comes towards you, for some of you I don't think you're going to take it, I think because you're either not ready for it or you're possibly, it's just the wrong timing. But for a lot of you, there's just going to be an offer and then whatever you do with it is up to you. Um, but the Four of Wands is showing me that there's going to be something that's going to be really uh, foundational for you. So it's going to set the tone for basically the next couple of years. So you could actually be starting a whole new job. Um, and for some reason, there's this like, I'm really focusing on this tiny little gecko down here. <clears throat> and for some reason, I'm really focusing on this little guy. So possibly look up the spiritual meaning of a gecko and see what he means in terms of career or just in general. <coughs> I'm sorry, guys. I hope that didn't deafen you. And yeah, I'm seeing you possibly could be like wanting to blend in with people and not kind of be seen too much. And also I'm seeing you as being quite small. So make sure to speak up when when needed. There could be, you could have a fire sign boss who's a little bit overbearing and you don't really know how to deal with it. But I feel like you're really going to kind of get what you deserve. Yeah, you're going to get what you need uh, out of the situation if you're kind of looking for a raise or just in general, just kind of dealing with your boss and just coping with them. <laughs> okay guys so that is your reading for the month of october i really hope you enjoyed it and i really hope you like this setup i quite like the coziness vibe so hopefully you guys do too and if you'd like to please subscribe to my channel i also do private reading so all the information is down below i'm sorry if this video wasn't as polished as my normal videos uh this is something that i don't normally do and i want to do more of for you guys so you guys can get your monthly read so i hope you guys have an amazing october Happy Halloween if you celebrate it and I'll speak to you very soon. Lots of love. Bye.